Hello, this is Michael from Charm Health. Today we'll be showing how to use the kiosk app on the iPad. The kiosk app is meant to help your patients answer questionnaires in the waiting room. This is not an app for patients to use on their own iPads. Asking patients to use the kiosk on their own iPads is a HIPAA violation. They'd have access to all of the patient names in the practice. First thing, you'll need to create a kiosk account. Go to Settings. Then go to Facility and Kiosk Setup. From there, we can create a new kiosk. Put in a username and a password. The password needs to have letters, numbers, and characters. This is a password that your front desk must type in frequently. Make sure that the web browser, tablet, GTAB, iPad is selected. Once the kiosk setup is set up, go to the App Store to download the kiosk app on your iPad. Next, download the kiosk app from the App Store if you have not done so already. When you first open the app, it will ask for an email. Instead of putting an email, Type in the username you just created specific for that iPad. Then type in the password for that kiosk. After logging in, you could search for the patient you want and select that patient. Choose the questionnaire you want for that patient. You can also do this for consent forms. After selecting the questionnaire for the patient, click the Hand Over button so the patient can start filling out the questionnaire. First, the patient needs to confirm their birthday. Then they could update their contact details if necessary. If they want to change the contact details, they should select Edit. Then they should select the blue arrow which will take them to the questionnaire. After they are done answering the questionnaire, the Kiosk app will be considered locked. The Kiosk app must be locked after the questionnaire is filled out, as per HIPAA requirements. When the front desk needs another patient to answer the questionnaire in the office, they can unlock it with the kiosk password and select the patient. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, please write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on social media for the latest updates.